Hi there guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Yes, before you even say it, I do look weird. It's okay, I know. <laughs> I have one eyebrow on and one is missing. <laughs> but that is because today we are doing a simple pride look. So I'm gonna show you four very simple, very easy pride looks that you can do for the month of pride. If you do not know, the month of June is the pride month and basically it's to celebrate all of our LGBTQ, I think I said the L, L, G, B, T, Q <laughs> friends and families and show them that we do support them and that we will always have their back. And of course it is to show that our LG, LGD, why can't I say it? <laughs> LGBTQ friends and family are able to show their side and show, you know, what they are. They love who they are and, you know, just to be themselves and have this month of greatness for them. <laughs> so to celebrate this month, I decided to show you four really easy, well, I hope they would be really easy for you guys, <laughs> simple pride month looks for you to do if you go like to a parade or if you go to a festival or if you go to the nightclub or something and show your support for the LGBTQ community. Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you these four looks. I'm going to show you how to do a rainbow brow, henceforth why I don't have a brow on. <laughs> I'm also going to show you how to do a rainbow mask. I do have a video on that as well, so this one's just going to be shortened and more simpler. If you want to see the more detailed version of the rainbow mask, I'll make sure to leave the link down below or the iCard right up here so that you can go ahead and watch it. Next, I am also going to show you how to do a rainbow eyeshadow look on this side of the eye. I'm just probably just going to do like half the rainbow here because usually how I do my rainbow eyes is I do the first three colors here and the next three colors here, but we'll see how I'm feeling then. <laughs> and then the last look is I'm going to show you how to do rainbow freckles. That one is definitely more very simpler, very um, just like a hint of boldness to uh, like a normal face look. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now before we get officially started, I do want to say there is a giveaway in this video. I know I haven't done a giveaway in a very long time, but I feel like this one is very special to do. And so then for this giveaway, I am going to give away one of the James Charles and Morphe collaboration eyeshadow palettes. If you do not know, this is a really big launched palette that happened last year and it has a whole bunch of rainbow colors in it a lot of neutrals as well and it sort of shook the world <laughs> it has been sold out for months and months on end and now i feel like everyone's kind of calmed down kind of cooled and collected about it now and then of course this video is going up after this whole um beauty community drama that have happened so if you have your opinions on james charles it's okay you don't have to enter the giveaway there will be more later but make sure you are subscribed so that you can check out those giveaways later on down the road <laughs> and of course to enter into this giveaway to receive the palette all you have to be is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below if you want to have a second entry into this giveaway also follow me on instagram i'll make sure to leave the name right up here i also have a link down below and then in that comment make sure you put your instagram tag name so that you can have two entries into the giveaway Alrighty, guys let's go ahead and get started all right as you guys can already see i already have my base and everything all done already so all we have to do is just get started on the eyes and everything and so then for our very first look today i'm going to show you how to do a rainbow brow so for the items that i'll be using today i'll be marking or short yeah marking tracing out my eyebrow shape that i want with the nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil and then once i'm done uh, shaping it out i will be dipping into this wet and wild paint palette and i will be sort of filling in the brow with those colors and then i will dip into my take me back to brazil palette and also my james charles and morphe collaboration palette as well 
Alrighty guys, I'm gonna zoom you in and then voiceover Danny is gonna take over and show you how to do the rainbow brow. Alrighty, voiceover Danny coming back at you guys. I know it's been a while. I know you've missed me. I missed you. So first we're going to take the NYX micro brow pencil and we're gonna outline the brow. As you guys can see, my brow is definitely um, very wonky nowadays because your girl need to get it waxed. But we're gonna ignore that fact and I'm just gonna shape my brow to the best of my abilities so that we can get a nice light base to start out our rainbow brow. All right, so next we're gonna go in with our Wet n Wild paint palette. And we're gonna dip into the red first and we're gonna start in the inner corner of our eyebrow. And I'm just gonna be using a eyeliner pencil for this. Then we're gonna clean, 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 clean that eyebrow pencil or eyeliner pencil. <laughs> and then we're gonna dip into the orange and go from that red and keep going under the eyebrow. Then we're going to clean, 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 clean that brow pencil or eyeliner pencil, whoever knows what it is, <laughs> once again. And then we are going to dip into the yellow, keep following that orange shade. Then we are going to clean, 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 clean again. And then we are going to dip into the green shade. And you guessed it, we're gonna clean, 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 clean once again. And now Danny's just gonna totally skip over blue. I don't know what she has against blue, but she's gonna dip into the purple shade and she's just gonna keep outlining and then she's gonna actually start filling in the brow with the purple. And then of course she's gonna clean, 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 clean. Is that a brow pencil, eyeliner pencil, whatever you wanna call it. And then she's gonna go back in with the green shade, once again, skipping blue. Like I said, don't know what this girl has against blue. I'm pretty sure it's her favorite color. How could she forget it? But you know, it's whatever. <laughs> and then after that, she's gonna repeat the, all the steps where she cleans the brush. And then she goes in with green, yellow, orange and red and just fills in the rest of the brow and gets the base ready to put the eyeshadows on. All right. So here comes the easiest part. We are gonna dip into my favorite BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And we're gonna be using the all the colors of the rainbow except for blue, cause you know, for some reason Danny don't want blue. And we're just gonna overlap that with the paint and sort of just set the paint basically. And make the eyebrows more bold and more vibrant. Alrighty, so we got the first look done. This is the rainbow brow. As you can see, very simple, very beautiful. It didn't even take that long, honestly. And also, you can tell that I forgot to put blue in it, but it's because my eyebrow is like really short, really small. So it was either blue or purple, and I forgot blue, so it was purple. <laughs> of course, you can add blue to yourself, or you can just do like the main colors or simple colors, whichever one you want to make it yourself. I personally like doing three on this side, three on the other, but that's just me personally. So yeah <laughs> on to the next one the next look is going to be a rainbow eyeshadow look and for this one i will mostly be dipping into my take me back to brazil palette 
this one has my most absolute favorites in it and then I do also have this Morphe 35 feed palette but of course I'm gonna try to not use it as much because although this is discontinued I do love it this I will just be dipping into this blue up here because this is my favorite blue out of all of them and then I will also be going into the James Charles Morphe palette and I will only be using this orange shade right here which is 518 this one right here because I love that orange better and yes now voiceover Danny is going to take over once again and I will see you guys afterwards alrighty guys so first of all I'm gonna put some Milani um, eyeshadow base on top of my eyelid first because I feel like that's gonna be the best way to get all the pigmentation on and then we're gonna first be dipping into the take me back to Brazil palette and we're gonna be dipping into the red shade first this is such a beautiful pigmented red and what I'm gonna do is I'm using a small pencil brush and I'm sort of um, packing it in on the inner corner of my eyes and then what I'm doing also is just taking it down the bridge of my nose now I just like doing crazy wild things so you definitely do not have to do this part but I just wanted to try it see how it looked and of course I decided to try it when I'm making this video so if it looks bad <laughs> blame Danny <laughs> All right, and so then we are going to go into the James Charles and Morphe collaboration palette. And I'm going to be using the 518 orange shade in here because it is very beautiful, very pigmented. Now, whatever your opinion is on James Charles or whatever, um, your girl spent $30 on this palette, so she's going to use it. <laughs> And then we are going back to the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and we are going to be using the yellow shade. I love this yellow shade in this palette. It is so beautiful and so pigmented as a yellow shade. I have yet to find a better yellow. And then next we're going to be dipping into the green shade still in that Take Me Back to Brazil palette. A very beautiful, very light green shade. It like corresponds with the yellow very well or correlates same thing right <laughs> and thank goodness Danny remembered to put the blue <laughs> and we are using the 35B palette for this one it is discontinued just saying and then of course, going right back to the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, we are dipping into the purple and just sort of bringing that purple out towards the ear, just sort of making it like a nice cut, if that makes sense, maybe. Probably not, it's fine. <laughs> and lastly, we're just gonna take a blending brush that has no product on it and just sweeping it up on top just to blend it more into the skin if that makes sense hopefully all right this is the finished eyeshadow look i did go a little crazy and bring the red down the bridge of my nose but you, you don't have to do that it's okay i just felt like being a little crazy you know me just me being me <laughs> So then we're going to move on to the next look. We are on our third one. Third one is Rainbow Freckles. And for this one, I'll be going back into my Wet n Wild palette. And then I will also be taking this purple pink. This is from Paradise Makeup. This is Face and Body Safe Makeup. Alrighty, going back to voiceover Danny to finish the third look. Thank you, non-voiceover Danny. All right, so we're gonna dip into that lovely Wet n Wild palette, and we're gonna start with the red, because of course, red is the first color of the rainbow. If you didn't know this, educate yourself. <laughs> and then we got orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Yes, she remembered to put on all the colors this time. We're very proud of her. 
please give her a round of applause. <laughs> and of course, this one's super easy. I am just using a uh, long tip eyeliner brush for this to create the circles, make it more detailed. You can pretty much use whatever you want. Um, some people just like to like sort of spray it on there, but it's however you feel. This is how I like it to make it more bold and beautiful. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, you can find the Wet n Wild palette like at Target or anything or even on their website. So yeah, pretty easy, pretty dope. Can't believe I said that. <laughs> All right, Voice Over Danny is out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and yeah, you know, and I'm just going to pass it on to normal Danny. All right, guys, see you later. Alrighty, guys, that is the third look. This is the freckles. I think they're cute and fun. I love it. <laughs> now the fourth look is the mask. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm lazy and I really don't want to take this off and then do a whole mask thing because the mask I'm not gonna lie, doing the mask is gonna be a lot of work. It takes a long time. And the mask also is, uh, you have to use a lot of pigmentation for it. So it is gonna leave some um, color behind when you wipe it off and everything. And um, I'm gonna hang out with some friends tomorrow, so I don't really uh, wanna go looking like a rainbow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's pretty straightforward. If you sort of take it from and when I did my eyebrow where I outlined it first, filled it in, and then set it with eyeshadow, then it's going to be straightforward. If you guys still want to see how to do the mask, I did do a tutorial on it and I will leave the link down below like I said earlier and I will put a card right up here so that you can go watch it and create it yourself. If you guys choose to use one of these and I inspired you for your pride look, make sure to tag me in a photo so then I can see it and like it as well because I love that. And also, I'm thinking for my pride look, I'm gonna go with the eyeshadow and then with the freckles. I'm kind of digging like this whole like eyeshadow freckle vibe. So I'm really excited to try that. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is everything for the video. I hope you really like it. If you like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so I know. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I post every Friday. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you know when I upload my video on that Friday. Because I am a busy girl and it fluctuates quite a bit. <laughs> and don't forget if you want to enter the giveaway for the James Charles and Morphe collaboration palette, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below. And if you want a second entry into that giveaway, make sure you are following me on Instagram and also leave your Instagram handle in that comment down below. So this giveaway is going to end at the last day of June and the winner will be announced in my description below on July 1st. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much and I will see you next Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notifications. Make sure to give this video a like and follow all my social media. The links will be down below as usual. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next Friday.